In this video, we'll be looking at another example of limits of summation as n approaches infinity. Now, we'll be needing the summation formulas. So if you don't already have these in your notes, press pause to copy these down so that you can use them when we need them. Press play when you're ready to continue. The problem that we'll be doing is find a formula for the sum of n terms in the summation, then use the formula to find the limit as n approaches infinity. And the summation that we'll be working with is uh, the summation as i goes from 1 to n, of the quantity 1 plus 2i over n, that quantity squared, times 2 over n. Now our first step to get our formula is to look for any factors that do not have i, because i is what's changing in our summation. And so you can see that this factor does not have any i's in it. So I can take that factor out in front of my sigma notation. And for right now, we'll just be ignoring this limit until we're ready to use it. So let me just copy that down. And then I'm going to pull this 2 over n factor out in front. Summation as i goes from 1 to n of 1 plus 2i over n quantity squared. Now in order to use my summation formulas, I need to have uh, an i or an i squared or an i cubed or a constant. Um, so I'm going to have to square this out so let me copy my limit as n approaches infinity, and then 2 over n, and then summation as i goes from 1 to n of, now when I square this binomial, my first term will be this one squared, so 1 plus and then my second term, I'll, I'll multiply the first and the second together, and then double that. So 2i over n doubled is 4i over n plus, and then I want to square this last term to get my third term. So 4i squared over n squared. Now, um, my second property of summation says that if I have a polynomial or uh, more than one term in a summation, I can split that up into separate summations. So let me do that. Copy and limit. And I have 2 over n that's out in front. And then let me split that up into three separate summations. Alright, now um, I still want to simplify a little bit. 
I can pull this 4 and this n out in front of this summation. And then this 4 and this n squared, I can pull in front of this summation. So limit as n approaches infinity, 2 over n times summation as i goes from 1 to n of 1 plus, and then the 4 over n is going to come out in front here, times the summation as i goes from 1 to n of and then all I have left there is an i. And then uh, 4 over n squared is going to come out in front of that summation. And all I have left here is i squared. Right now I have formulas for each of these three things. So, just a matter of writing the formulas. Remember that the formulas are useful in that it's a way of writing these expressions without the sigmas. Right, so I have 2 over n. Um, whenever I have a constant, uh, the summation formula says that I just multiply that constant by the upper limit of summation. So this is just going to be 1 times n. And then here I have 4 over n times. And then uh, when I have the summation of i, that's n times n plus 1 over 2 and then plus and then 4 over n squared um, so when I have an i squared that's the third summation formula that's a little bit longer one so n times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 6. So let's simplify um, these a little bit. Limit as n approaches infinity, 2 over n times, this is n, plus, I can cancel my n's here and cancel here. So that is 2 times quantity n plus 1 plus. And then on this one, I can cancel this n with one of these. I'll still have an n in the bottom, and then I can cancel a factor of 2 out of the 4 and the 6, and I'll have 2 times n plus 1 times 2n plus 1 over 3n. Let's do some multiplying here. Limit as n approaches infinity of 2 over n times n plus 2n plus 2 plus I'm going to have to take another step. When I distribute here, I'll have 2n squared, uh, 1n plus 2n is 3n, and then plus 1, that's over 3n. Hmm. 
limit n approaches infinity to the lower n times n plus 2n plus 2 plus I'm going to write these as separate terms uh, with this denominator here. So 2 times 2n squared, that's 4n squared. It's just 2. I can cancel one of these out. So one more step, we'll distribute this two and through and then do the limit. So, copy one more time, n approaches infinity. So, 2 over n times n gives me 2. On this one, the n's are going to cancel, and I'll have 4. And then, 4 over n and then the ends will cancel and I have 8 over 3 and 4 over n and 4 over 3n squared. Now for limits, uh, the limit as n approaches infinity, all of these terms where I have an n in the denominator, the limit of those terms as n approaches infinity is 0. So all of these, these three terms are going to go towards zero as n approaches infinity. So this expression is equal to 2 plus 4 plus 8 thirds, which is 26 thirds.